In the previous video, we have seen the introduction to analog communication systems. In this module, in this video, we'll be seeing what is amplitude modulation, specifically a type of analog communication modulation, amplitude modulation, its definition, its time domain rep representation. And later on, we'll be seeing the frequency domain representation of this amplitude modulation and what are the various aspects of this amplitude modulation. Amplitude modulation is basically defined as amplitude modulation is an increase or decrease of the carrier voltage will all other factors remaining constant. Increase amplitude modulation is an increase or decrease of carrier voltage. So specifically we will be saying that the amplitude of carrier is changed in accordance with the amplitude of modulating signal, the message signal. Here the carrier signal is a high frequency signal and message signal is a low frequency signal. So we will be changing one of the characteristics of one of the parameters of high frequency signal called as carrier signal in accordance with the amplitude of message signal. This is what the definition of amplitude modulation is. AM in time domain amplitude modulation voltage is produced by a circuit that can multiply the carrier by the modulating signal and then add the carrier. This is what we are doing in time domain. If a circuit gain is a function of 1 plus uh, m sine 2 pi fm of t, the expression for the am signal is vam equals to avc. That what we are doing is simply multiplying the gain of the circuit with the voltage of that particular uh, carrier signal vc. So these are the waveforms of amplitude modulation signal. This is the high frequency signal with amplitude EC and this is the low frequency signal with amplitude EM. Here EC is defined as EC. EC small e small c is the instantaneous amplitude and capital E capital C is the constant value of the particular carrier signal. So here the amplitude of carrier signal is constant throughout the modulation. Uh, only the carrier signal amplitude but whereas the amplitude of message signal is continuously changing therefore the amplitude of message signal changes in accordance with the mag maximum amplitude of this message signal this is what the definition of a amplitude modulation so here we will be seeing a carrier signal and message signal they are modulated with a circuit or a block called as modulator and here in the output part we see a two dimensional representation of this AM modulation. Here we will be saying that when the amplitude of message signal is high, the amplitude of carrier signal is also high. When the amplitude of message signal is low, the amplitude of carrier signal is also low. Therefore we define AM signal has a change in amplitude of carrier signal in accordance with the amplitude of message signal. And here what represents is the frequency of this uh, carrier signal. So we are simply superimposing a low frequency signal called as message signal upon a high frequency signal called as carrier signal. AM in frequency domain description. In frequency domain what we do we simply expand the trigonometric identity. If we expand this trigonometric identity we will be getting difference of frequency and addition of this uh, frequency. These are nothing but the spectrum of the signal what we achieved by having a AM modulation. Here omega C minus omega M is called as lower side band and omega C plus omega M is called as upper side band. So the expression basically consists of two side bands having the same amplitude and same information but they are uh, differently related in frequency that means they are spreaded in the frequency. So basically we'll uh, say that when we make a modulation uh, such like amplitude modulation the frequency spectrum gets shifted to new frequencies one is addition of the two frequencies the other one is subtraction of the two frequencies whereas the amplitude remains uh, constant amplitude in the sense uh, the modulated amplitude remains constant but the amplitude of carrier is changing in accordance with amplitude of message signal. So here we will be seeing the spectrum. In this spectrum what we see? We see that we see that uh, this is the carrier frequency which is centered at and this is the lower side band. 
and upper side band lower side band and upper side band have same information and amplitudes are also same but the frequency is different when we take the difference of this upper side band and lower side band we'll get a bandwidth of that particular signal now in this standard am we see that the same information is placed at two different frequencies one is usb and lsb so at the receiver side it is enough to get uh, demodulate any one of this fre frequency signal which consists of a certain amplitude and no need of uh, demodulating these two frequencies individually now we see there are different power relations for am uh, we'll make some mathematical calculations and we show that the total power transmitted in am is uh, usually pt equals to pc into 1 plus m square by 2 where m is modulation index which can be obtained from this where uh, the ratio of em by em by ec use modulation index so we see that uh, the power in sideband is specifically m square pc by 4 so we define modulation index in three different categories perfectly modulated uh, under modulated and over modulated if the value of m is equals to 1 which is the ratio of ecm em by ec message signal amplitude of message signal by amplitude of carrier signal if they are if the ratio is 1 then we say it is perfectly modulated if the ratio is less than 1 then we say it is under modulated if the ratio is greater than 1 then we'll say it is over modulated so we always avoid over modulation and we always look the value of m should be between under modulation and perfectly modulation or critical modulation critical modulation is uh, very much preferred then these are the current relationships for am and this is what we have just discussed modulation index now in current relations also we see that i equals to i naught uh, square root of 1 plus m square 2 where m square is the modulation index and i naught is the current without modulation a constant current which is flowing in the circuit when there is no modulation this is the modulation index which is the ratio of emm by ec and in order to calculate it in uh, oscilloscope we use this formula e max minus e min by e max plus e min so these are the different effects of modulation when uh, number of uh, when number of signals are modulated together then we'll have total modulation in equals to geogrammatic progression of each individual modulation now we'll be seeing how ams are generated generation of am waves can be used having a square law modulator and a switching modulator and uh, they can be detected using a simple square law detector or envelope detector and uh, here we'll be seeing how they are generated and how they are uh, in next class we'll be seeing how the am signal is generated and how it is demodulated